Hey guys, we have uh, Deepthi with us uh, for the one minute CM. So I'll give a quick introduction with Deepthi and also check out how she would perform this rapid fire question. The few questions which have been prompted by her friends uh, to pull her down, so <laughs> to tease her, we'll also get uh, going to see how she performs and you know, we'll also see how what she wants to do if she becomes the uh, chief minister. So a quick introduction about Deepthi. Uh, as we mentioned, she loves travel. She is uh, uh, a people person. Uh, she started, uh, she is into IT. She's uh, got a decade of experience in IT. She's got a son who is like uh, nine years old now. Apart from that, she is managing her work life and uh, she started with a small startup, big coding, then, you know, basically uh, getting from her project manager. She moved into uh, as a business analyst and now she's handling uh, pre-sales and you know many more challenges handling clients uh, so yeah she, she has got good experience in best known companies uh, around Hyderabad and uh, she is currently managing uh, you know sales for US teams right now so that's the introduction uh, but she is more about passion she is more about passionate about people her entire profile uh, you know pictures are about you know friends hanging around with friends so we'll talk more about it so, Deepi, a quick introduction from your side. Uh, nice to be here. Nice meeting a new friend. So, let me. Thank you. Likewise. Likewise, Ravi. Uh, thank you so much for having me, first of all. And this is a great initiative that you are doing on your part, especially during the lockdown. Um, I think you've summed up pretty well about my uh, introduction. Um, just to add what you have not touched upon is on mm -hmm. my passion for uh, you know traveling and my passion for trying out cuisines from different parts of the world i wouldn't want to use the word passion because uh, usually passion is something that you 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 know very passionately and persuasively follow but somehow i i'm not able to really do that considering my work uh, working um, environment mm -hmm. uh, but yeah if if possible i'd love to travel more try uh, different cuisines around the world the people who know me my friends would vouch for the fact that i am a big time foodie i don't like cooking as much but i love eating and i love going around traveling places meeting people um, just understanding because you know human beings are are the most complex of, of beings so i think there is a lot to learn and explore um, when you meet new people. So that's something I'm passionate about. And that's the reason you must have seen why I shifted my career from a very mundane coding job. And, and my PM sort of recognized that this lady here is not meant for, for a technology job. So let's just give her something else. So I think that was, that was not my calling at all. So I just wanted to do something which, which involved more of you know, client interaction, um, you know, something where I can actually get to talk to the client and rather than just sit on a back end and just do my coding. So that's the reason my career completely shifted. Uh, and yeah, so while growing up, my passion was music. I love dancing. Um, um, but obviously passions and things change when you evolve, when you grow as a person. So now professionally, it's just, I'm just eng engulfed by my work really uh, and the things around it, yeah. So that's about it, yeah. And then I think we can get started with the actual conversation. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good point, uh, you know, Deepthi, which is, I also realize that, you know, I, I'm a guy who cannot just sit uh, on a system and just do a work, sedentary work. So yeah. that, that's when, you know, from customer service, I moved to sales, retail, and, you know, from that, the journey is different. And now you ask me to just sit and, you know, work on a PC, I, I'm the last guy to walk for that uh, yeah. career. So, I'd rather quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, two ways of it. One individual realizing that you know this, uh, you you can do more, uh, and you're you're a person who can interact with clients. You can interact with uh, customers, do more, or you know, a project manager or your leaders identify that uh, you know you, you can do better. Yeah. So I think yeah. for me, yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, so when I so I started off with a startup and my PM was somebody so since it was a startup, you know, though he was a PM, he had a very higher, much higher role to play. So he could see the wider picture. So he felt that, you know, you have a lot of Java developers, you get them like day in and day out in the market. So I think we need to put this put this girl into something that she can really excel in rather than putting her into something that you can get a ready made skill in the market anyways. So that's why he put me into um, into product demos and, and all of that. And that's when my passion for uh, the actual pre-sales part of the job started. So right now I'm in the complete sales support and enablement job in Rodridge. Yeah. But you're right. You need to have like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, 
जोहरी ही हीरा को पहचान सकता है सॉरी दैट्स दैट्स नो ह्यूमिलिटी फ्रॉम माय पार्ट बट यू रियली नीड एन आई फॉर सच सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द राइट टैलेंट एंड द राइट पीपल आई थिंक इट्स 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 ट्रू फॉर एवरीवन आई मीन आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव मेंटॉर्ड पीपल आई हैव मेंटॉर्ड अ फ्यू इन माय यू नो डेकेड प्लस करियर सो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स वेरी it's it's very precious to find the people who uh, who who value you and who give you that respect so uh, name one person whom you suggested in the same way saying that you can do better than this and you know uh, they have uh, shifted for you i have not suggested a shift in career to anybody but but i have given a lot of people career advice i mean that's being a people manager it's a part of your job to really you know talk to people boost them or morale etc i have given them a lot of advice in terms of what to do what not to do how to behave professionally um, mm-hmm. you know uh, it's it's important to convey the right message the right way especially in a in a professional environment it it very impo- it doesn't really matter what you think about the person it's about you know how you how you convey to that person you might hate somebody you work with but you obviously can't show that hate in the work you have to be professional you have to be diplomatic you have to get the work done so i think a lot of people especially youngsters they don't understand that they just they're so you know furious they just go and rent it out i said you have to relax you know this is not your house to go and fight with somebody so i've given people professional advice which mm-hmm. people have obviously taken it uh, taken it well okay cool. yeah so yeah shall we quickly get into the topic five questions? absolutely yeah yeah Okay, so the first question, you know, I have an image that's showing up. Can you describe about this particular picture? This was a picture that was taken at my husband's friend's Guruha Pravesham, which is in Balanagar. So the guy with the tilak, uh, Vivek. Uh-huh. Hey, Vivek. Uh, he's my friend on on Facebook. He's in Singapore. So yeah, we had gone for his Guruha Pravesham. This was, I think, a few years ago. Uh, and I remember when I posted this picture, the guy in the middle, the the black, the guy wearing a black shirt. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, he got a lot of crush messages. Oh, this guy is really cute. Who is he? I, said, I don't know. I don't care. But yeah, that's that's the background for this picture. Okay, so you know more than the appreciations for the picture. You know, you got a lot of queries for this particular. Person. So this this boy, yeah, and he's a Malu by the way. He's a Malayali, and so am I. So we sort of had a little bit of a Malayali banter. So of course I'm not in touch with him. Uh, but yeah, there were a lot of people who were like, you know what, this picture is good, but who is this guy standing beside <laughs> beside you? I said he's my friend's friend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next picture going to, you know, a decade back. <clears throat> this is in 2010. Yeah, this is when this is from my Microsoft days. I remember all their names. That is Pratima. That is Sumati, ma'am. She was she was my senior. She was my teammate. um that's arun dhati and that's archana uh, all uh, right. I, i'm not in touch with a couple of them now uh, archana is a very dear friend she also lives here in maitral yeah mm-hmm. so that's we just lounging around uh, you know just having a cup of tea and I, oh, i i you know it's this is during my microsoft but right now in broadridge we don't we have a no mobile policy so i i'm like okay we can even take you know photos inside inside a campus so uh, yeah this was during my microsoft days Cool. The next picture. This was again during my Microsoft days. That was Laurie Hansen. She was our counterpart from the US. We had gone to this place called uh, Dialogue in the Dark. I don't know if it's still open. I think it must have shut shop or something. But this was a place called Dialogue in the Dark in I think GVK Mall or something, and mm-hmm. where you know you're you're in the dark, you eat in the dark, and you actually have blind waiters coming and serving you food. um so that was a great experience and lorry was like uh, she was like take they don't apparently they don't have such a have a have a such a concept in the us i don't know how far it's true but then she was like this is amazing i just love the whole concept can't say the same about the food though but then she loved the whole concept you know the the way we the way the the blind people were treated and how though they can't see they were able to do everything that a that a normal person normally able person could do so that concept was was great that was kalyan bondgula the the top guy there showing a victory sign or putting that thing on kartik's head so he was my manager mm-hmm. uh, i think right now he's in the us and that's deepa there on the left she's one of my sweetest friends uh, uh yeah so yeah this is again microsoft dialogue in the dark cool the next picture is about a celebrity so we want to know more about him Oh my god he is the most cuddleable celebrity ever he i think he was like hardly 2 years old he's akash he's my 9 year old son and this was i think we had gone for some 
wedding, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and this was taken when we were just returning back from the wedding. So I had all my my post pregnancy puppy fat on my face. Not that I'm thin now, but this was that that stage where uh, I I was like blown up and yeah. I wish kids never grew, but fortunately they do. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in the meanwhile, we have some compliments coming in from you, uh, for you. Uh, Malayalis are always cute. Uh, that from, uh, <laughs> Thank you. So are questions. everybody, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So describe uh, about your volleyball, sir. So I've heard some stories about your volleyball, sir. So. <laughs> oh, my God. I know where this question must have come from. Um, <laughs> Is it okay to take names here or should everything be anonymous? That's okay. You, you can take names. That, that right. So we really were, good. okay. So we were in an all girls school. So you can imagine um, how boring or interest, interesting it could get. It was very interesting in terms of the, of the, of the banter of, of the gossip that we used to have, but it was very, very barren in terms of, you know, the boy talk, you know, we were literally like just girls just chat, chatting away about, you know, wannabe boyfriends and stuff like that. So when we actually had this so-called good-looking sir by name Vijay Anand, who was mm -hmm. who was our volleyball sir, you can imagine, you know, it's like all the girls were well, used to be, you know, in attendance, hundred percent attendance in the volleyball in the in the in the volleyball ground on time. We used to be there, line up and wait for the whole you know session for the whole training to begin. Um, he was like this tall, dark, handsome, typical proverbial good good looking man and uh, i still remember vaguely remember his face so you can imagine he he was he was quite a quite a guy to crush on so um i also remember very funny incident so we have this shot where we take a shot from down okay this way so he he, he puts the volley and you take a shot from down and then you move back and the next person comes in line and you take the shot okay so i remember i don't know what i was thinking um but when my turn came i put my hand this way and he threw i think it was a it was a shot he hit it this way and instead of hitting it down i put my hand this way and it right went and fell into the place it shouldn't be falling in and i was like what the hell was i thinking and the, i still remember this 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 blunder of mine so vividly so you can imagine and that sir was like what were you thinking if you're supposed to hit it and not like put your arms like this like as if jesus christ was crucified but I was like, sorry, sir. I think I was thinking something else. I was in another world. So he was quite a charmer. Yeah. Good, good. So that, that's a profession. So, you know, I miss that particular uh, opportunity. To oh, you were a volleyball player also, is it? No. But yeah, uh, if I knew that, you know, uh, St. Anne's College, may I say, you know, that this is one option. St. Francis. St. Francis. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I would have. <laughs> you would have come. Yeah, yeah. Right, sure. Okay, this describe uh, three friends of yours, Pooja. Describe three friends, Pooja. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, uh, <laughs> she's she's one of the most loveliest girls I've known. And uh, so Pooja joined school a little late. I remember uh, Pooja. Sorry if I uh, I'm I'm incorrectly stating any of the facts, but I think she joined school when we were in fifth class or something. But she was somebody who instantly connected with all of us. She was she was very, very bubbly and she, you know, she 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 liked making friends. And uh, uh, I, I'm still in touch with her, though not as much as I would like it to be because of, you know, work and the time zone. She's in Canada. Um, very, very, very sweet friend of mine. She uh, came to my marriage in Kerala and uh, she, she did my so-called makeup for my reception. So some of the Memory, memories that I'm able to remember of her. So, a very, very sweet friend, very bubbly friend. You can just you know, count on her anytime. Like, you call her and you tell her, hey, can we go there? Or, hey, I'm, I'm having this issue. She, like, just leave everything and just come to your help. Uh, very rare to find people like that. And I'm so glad that we're still in touch. Hey, Pooja, I love you. So, Dolly? Dolly Dvivedi, uh, oh wow, uh, Dolly was, uh, so back in school we were really, really thick friends, we were, we were actually those best friends in school, unfortunately we have lost a lot of touch uh, with passing time and, and distance and all of that, but uh, she's doing great, I'm a Facebook friend, um, she's a very, very cute son who looks like her carbon copy, um, cool. she was a very intelligent girl and my, my parents used to love, uh, love her because, you know, the typical intelligent good girl you know my, my daughter is her friend and all that so um, very nice girl very intelligent um, a great friend to have you know we used to have some great times together she used to come home i used to go to her house 
um, we used to stay pretty close by, uh, like about two or three kilometers apart. So we used to do a lot of, uh, you know, study ins together, and 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 um, we used to have a common auto driver, and we have a lot of jokes about him. Like he used to look like a, like like a like a pedophile. I shouldn't be saying that. I'm not. I'm not taking names, but <laughs> he used to look very crazy. But he was such a such a sweet guy, you know, the auto guy. So we used to literally make fun of him. Uh, so he, mm. he used to drop her, and then he used to drop me. So a lot of good memories with Dolly. Yeah, I should. I wish we could reconnect. Yeah. Next friend, uh, Adlin. Adlin. Oh my God, she's the reason I'm doing an interview with you, Ravi. So uh, thank you, Adlin. Uh, Adlin is again a very very sweet friend. Uh, the the most vivid memory I have of Adlin is uh, during the volleyball days. So she used to be my volleyball partner. She, Harita, Sabrina. Um, and and a few other, few of us few of us uh, so she was like this short fair you know cute girl always gossiping always looking at ways to bunk school with uh, you know her other friends uh, she was she was fun it's always good to have a balance of balance of friends who who also you know who who teach you the naughty things in life she was one of those cute naughty uh, gossipy friends that I that I loved having even she used to stay pretty close so she used to also come home sometimes I think even I've gone to a house a couple of times so oh those childhood memories are really like unforgettable like, i wish i could so, relive those days so you still have you have a whatsapp group for your school friends and you we have a whatsapp group yeah 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 so what is the common communication that goes on except for the forwards and all that so what do you thankfully do? we don't do a lot of forwards uh off recently off late the communication has been a lot about your show actually so she keeps posting a lot of these go lives of i think i've seen kritikas i've seen poonams i've seen poojas of course um yeah so that's been the conversation of late otherwise unfortunately because it's a very big group with people across time zones uh, but but yeah we we do discuss whenever there is something important to be discussed and most importantly we don't wish we don't miss wishing birthdays of people so yeah. Um, I'm surprised how people, you know, remember the days um, and uh, some of the incidences that we've had in the school. It's though it's been more than uh, what 20 years now that we've passed out of school. Uh, 20 years, not 20. Yeah, 20 years. So yeah, it's good. Next question from uh, Dr. Munali. How many Facebook friends do you have? I don't know. I think around three or four hundred, but really not all of them are Facebook friends. Friends, they're just people who you add, and if you have a faint remembrance of that person, like if he's a friend's friend or something, you just add them because you don't want to offend them. But genuine people are not many, really. But yeah, if you want the count, it's about four hundred. And you prefer meeting them in person rather than chatting or making friends online. Uh, it really depends. If there is an opportunity to meet somebody in person, I'd love to meet them over lunch or dinner. Um, if not, nowadays with the lockdown, you know, the whole video call has become very, very common. You know, so we we are reconnecting a lot on those Zoom calls and doing birthday parties on Zoom and things like that. So everything has become more virtual nowadays. So, and I think somehow, ironically, we are connecting more now during the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Lockdown. Yeah, you know, otherwise, rather otherwise than earlier, because that. earlier, yeah, people used to be really busy with their jobs and just go to office, come back home. But now we're actually taking time to connect with people virtually. Uh, so that's that's that's, I think, a, a silver lining, I would say, of this lockdown. Good. The most embarrassing moment. Most embarrassing moment. There are many embarrassing moments. And for all of us have had embarrassing moments. Uh, I can't talk about a few of them, but I think one of them I can talk about is, so one day, uh, this was when I was, I think, in my teen years, like, I don't know, 13, 14 or whatever, um, or maybe I was in intermediate college, okay? So me and my mom, we had gone to this place called Khadim's. It's a shoe mm -hmm. shop in paradise to buy, a, uh, buy, buy, me, a, uh, buy me some footwear. So um, obviously I was, you know, just that, very very awkward teenager having zero sense of fashion so i i was wearing some loose pajamas and some top and i just went into the shop and the shopkeeper got me some, got me some shoes and i was trying it on okay so he got me i was bending i was trying bending trying and suddenly i realized that my stomach felt a little loose so basically my the nada sort of zapped and i was like oh. what the hell is it and i was in such a you know like embarrassed state that i didn't know what to do so i just got up this is in paradise right and we used to have we used to tra travel in autos at that time so i just got up like rushed out 
caught an auto didn't even tell my mom my mom was like in the shop wondering what the hell happened to my daughter so i just got up literally holding my nada because you know if that happens to me right now i know how to handle myself gracefully you know but that time we were really young and those awkward teenagers who used to be worried about what people will think and all that so i just took that went to the auto and just ran back home and then my mom mom had to take another auto and come and follow up follow me so that was really embarrassing i have a lot more but i can't tell those on camera <laughs> yeah what what is the not your thing you've done <clears throat> not your thing uh, i have not really done anything like bad naughty but the good naughty is like i don't know pranks with friends uh, gang up with some people and prank against someone things like that yeah maybe i must have hurt someone in that in that attempt but never really with an intention of making somebody feel bad but i i was always a naughty person yeah i mean if somebody tells me let's do it i'll just do it i don't really care so i'm so that way i'm spontaneous talk about one good prank which really worked out and prank is it uh I don't know. I am not able might to be on you. I do on you what what you uh, it can be prank which was done on you and which was like really successful. Prank on me that I don't know. I'm actually blanking out now. So I don't know but uh, no you can't call that a prank. I don't really remember that Ravi. I don't really rem- That's what I said. So it, there's no like specific prank moment like an April fool moment or something mm-hmm. like that. It's it's not nothing nothing as uh, yeah nothing worth mentioning i would say okay so next question is uh, are you a leo no i am a cancerian i am a typical cancerian i might not look like one but i am a typical emotional cancerian <laughs> okay so uh, i also heard that uh, all of you girls were standing outside the school gate and waiting and looking so so what was what was the intention sorry can can you, can you could you repeat that you girls were standing outside your school Okay. Right? Yeah. So you you are like, you know spending extra time standing outside this oh, okay. 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 Again I know where this question came from. But yeah, as I told you, we were in a girl school, so wherever possible we used to look at the greener pastures which were all around us. So we had St. Patrick's to our side, we had St. Mary's and and we and it was a it was a convent school, right? So there were a lot of onlookers and bystanders who used to see you know who is coming out of the school who is going with whom who is talking to whom so there was a lot of a uh, lot of fodder a lot of gossip outside the uh, outside the school gates um so yeah we used to there's no harm in admitting right we were in our you know those years where we used to want to sort of talk to a guy and things like that so yeah we used to have a good time uh, looking at ogling at uh, boys i would say <laughs> <laughs> okay but so, yeah there were a few bad experiences also like uh, hmm. a few of my friends who are seeing this might be able to recollect so there was at one point of time there was this it was a girl school right so obviously there will be some perverts who will be like out doing some really unceremonious things and we didn't know how to tackle with them then so we actually go have a code word also for this is called green green i'm not going to explain that because that's not meant for camera <laughs> but people who um who uh, Are listening to this, I know what green green means. Offline on that, you know, sounds really. Yeah, we can. Yeah, good. offline, I have no problems in talking about it. But yeah, so we we actually formed a code word about what that person was doing, which was which was crazy. And even now, we sometimes refer to it. You know, like a few of my friends. So I, I'm sure Dolly would know what green green means. I'm sure Diana would know. Uh, Adlin, I'm not sure. I'll have to I'll have to check. But a lot of people know that know that code word. Yeah. yeah but there are uh, issues also as you said that that particular moment like you know in my 10th grade i i um I, i had a friend and you know since we were close or you know just just walking together to the uh, you know bus stand and all that so our names were written on the other school you know we were from different schools kv but you know from different uh, uh, schools which are located like uh, a kilometer or two uh, apart so somebody wrote our name in their bathroom and after that you know she stopped speaking so yeah oh. there are there are there are issues where uh, you know people people uh, you know teachers have experienced uh, you know as the so told girls saying that if you go around with guys marishadin so i had to get away oh my god so 
the principal called <laughs> I, i was the guy who went to the prince i mean to the teacher who said that and i said we come from kb and we have co education how can you ask that tell a girl that she should not get married and it was a discussion and the other teacher went to the principal and said that uh, hey ravi is charging against this particular teacher he you know he he is threatening this particular teacher so it ended up we getting pcs the next day we almost got the pcs talk about the uniforms you know did you, did you see any challenges i mean uh, difference between the uniforms you had and uh, the other schools uh, beside you the uniforms when we had when we were in school or yes. now yeah when you were in school i i i was pretty proud of the uniform that we had so we had a white top and a blue blue skirt Mm-hmm. and i still remember we used to compete with the sentans students because they apparently had a more you know good looking and a more fashionable costume because their skirt was a little above the knee and we used to like, why are our you know the wise our management so okay. like yeah so bad with the fashion so we used to have that constant uh, competition with sentans but no complaints yeah i love my uniform uh i am sorry there is this hawker going <laughs> that that's fine you know it, it's looking very natural we can hear uh, what's going on uh, but good, and good it always happen. happens and i take my calls this guy has to pass down and shout at the top of his lungs it's just yeah. divine coincidence all the time so, did you did you miss him during lockdown sorry did you miss him during the lockdown period <laughs> During the lockdown, yeah, I wasn't even at home. I used to be at work, right? So yeah, the different things during the lockdown that I think I'm going to miss once the lockdown is really lifted. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, on your on your uniform question, Ravi. So yeah, I love my uniform. Though there was this constant competition with the Saint Anne's girls, but it mm-hmm. was fun. I but I heard that off late the uniform has changed into something which looks really bad. Uh, I really feel feel for the girls. who are at the school now and i'm so glad that i didn't have to wear that uniform when i was in school so that's that's not so good news for them okay so we have a question from adley uh, she is asking about talk about the day with sorry so, talk about the the day where you gate crash the wedding so this i even i have not done it till now but yeah oh my god yes i need some tips from you so i am proud to have great cra- gate crashed into a marwadi wedding so this wedding i remember so vividly that this wedding was in some ground in minister road minister road is in in second rabat side near the mm-hmm. kims hospital so me and my cousins uh, we were just going by i think we were going from her house to my house or something and en route we had minister road and it was in the night and we were really hungry okay and i i don't know what but those times we were like these impulsive kids you know so we found this big chaka chon in this um, in this function hall and we saw somebody wed somebody and it was really massive like those the grounds there was really massive and it was a marwadi wedding and you know how those weddings are they like literally spend a fortune on those weddings right on the costumes and the food and everything so we thought you know what i don't know whose idea was it was it mine or was it my cousins but um we thought you know let's just go let's just uh, it's like that three idiots moment you know like just go mm-hmm. and eat the food and then just slowly sneak out but what i didn't realize is it was so obvious that we were not a part of the gang because we obviously were yeah, dressed up in a very normal yeah and you know how these 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 people are in their weddings they are like decked from top to bottom with like lot of makeup and hair and glitter all over it and i'm just wearing a normal kurta and like i went in and i like this awkward i'm sure a lot of people must have known ki ye ladki bahar se aayi hai pakka hamare party ki nahi hai but thankfully Very i didn't uh, i didn't get yeah beaten or pushed out of the out of the wedding so we went um, we had the food and oh my god i still remember like there was this big hall and on the side ways there was food arranged there was like at least uh, 20 or 30 varieties of food all veg but um, it was like it was like divine for somebody who loves vegetarian food and lot of sweets and i remember even in sweets they had like some five to five to six varieties you know so it was good it was an experience actually uh, but thankfully i didn't get caught or thrown out but yeah 
It's so anybody joining me to try this for the first time, uh, you know, please join me. <laughs> I will definitely want to try this. Gate crashing, is it? Gate crashing it for a wedding. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? Somehow when we do it now, we get a little more conscious because we are like mm, grown up and true. mature. But when you're at that age, you just do it with yeah. the abandon. You're like, I don't care whether nobody's going to gonna do anything to me. So that's, I think that um, that attitude is very much required to do things like this. I think at this age, I wouldn't be doing yeah. it. I would rather go to a, yeah, go to a restaurant and pay some money and buy, buy myself some food. But I think the kick you derive out of doing something like this is at a different level altogether. So I think you should do it for that experience, not for the sake of the food. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there is always a bunty, there is always a vendor who is outside the school. So what were the supplies you were getting? Like, you know, the, during those days you had popsicle, uh, you had the... We used uh, to call it Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah, it used to be like a one rupee or fifty paisa or something like that, and and there used to be a very bad joke saying that that guy must be making it using some drainage gutter water and just put some ice, and you guys are like just enjoying it like as if it's some delicacy. But I mean, trust me, you have hundreds of those. You won't fall ill. But today, if you have some, if you have a pani puri from some from some random shop that says that drinking water is used, you know, I end up getting a sore throat. So mm -hmm. those days are different, Ravi. Seriously, I mean, you just, I mean, it might have been bad water, it might have been unfiltered, whatever, but nothing happened to us. I think we were really, our immune system was really Amazing. up and, you know, high at that time. So, and that also made it, made us enjoy those small, small things in life. Uh, and I remember we used to get um, fatafat, we used to call it goat mm -hmm. shit, like those small, small things. And I <laughs> loved eating those. We used to get uh, 16 for one rupee. I still remember very vividly. And we used to buy, like, we, or the friends we used to buy, and we used to eat, and we used to, like, flash our tongue out. So who, whose tongue is the blackest? We used to have that sort of a competition. So, yeah, freshest days, those days, seriously. So what were the other things which were available outside your school, apart from Pepsi and here? We, we had a couple of stationery shops. Uh, we had a couple of these general stores where you used to get like, these chips and all. And the Bundy guy used to sell... Uh, bear, I don't know, what do you call it in English? It's called bear. And then a small little thing, it, it looks like wood. It looks like a piece of wood, but you're supposed to remove the outer chilka and eat that thing inside. I don't know what it's called. It's very rarely got today, but I still see it in the in the markets around here very rarely, but that was something I used to love. Um, but but the favorites were really Pepsi and Fatafats, really. Yeah. Cool. Any other school moments you want to replace, school or college moments? You talk about, I mean, somebody talks about school or college, that's the first thing. I think school or college, school uh, was all about the bonding that we had, yeah, with the friends. I, I still remember we used to eat uh, lunch in school. I remember a friend of mine called Belinda. Uh, mm -hmm. She's not very active now on Facebook, but... Uh, her mom used to make some amazing lunch and I used to tease her a lot. Like I used to, she was a little on the chubby side and I used to like literally punch her and get all my pleasure from punching her. So I used to <laughs> eat her tiffin box. Uh, so I remember she one day got uh, pav bhaji, uh, a lot of different things. So her mom was an amazing cook. Um, so that was one one very fond memory eating in the classroom then we used to have college uh, sorry school f the feats uh, where you know mm -hmm. you used, we used to have pot not potlucks but um we used to make something from home and go and sell so you have that mini entrepreneur in you you know you make something go sell it make your own money so that that sort of a thing and the best part of those feats were that you had uh, students from other schools come in including boys so that was like a big um you know gala mela for us uh, and then we used to have, um, I don't know what it's called, like there's a, there's a, like a pyramid in the middle of the ground and you used to hoop it like a hoopla. And mm -hmm. if it falls over an item, you get that item. So we had, a, it, it was like a, literally like an exhibition there. It was, it was fun. So that is one of the vivid memories that I have of my high school uh, days with friends. So yeah, again, super golden years of my life. Cool. So, what, what do people talk about when, when somebody asks, uh, talk about DC? You know, what would your colleague say now? At your you work? know what? I have a lot of nicknames. People call me Chashmish, 
people call me kd uh in currently in in my my i started my engineering so i have a name called deco uh mm-hmm. they call me cody they call me lord of i don't know why uh, i am like this uh, favorite for for nicknames uh i think a common thing that people say is that i'm very talkative i am mm-hmm. someone who yeah who can just keep yapping i can like set up a conversation with anybody like you bring me somebody who's a stranger and i'll talk to them like as if i've known them for t- for like 10 years so i i can strike a conversation pretty well um yeah i'm someone who's sportive who's funny that's my husband looking at me and smiling and saying oh yeah i know about it <laughs> so um yeah so i'm somebody who's who i i would like to believe that people would like to think me as some someone who's lively and who's um who's who's funny who's 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 fun to have with Okay. Why Cody? Cody is generally, I mean, we call somebody Cody when they're eating uh, food for a very long it time. It literally means Cody, the chicken. Literally Cody, not any other Cody. Yeah. There were some people. Uh, so there was another friend of mine, Chetanya Chetu. We mm-hmm. used to call her with another nickname. I don't want to say that nickname. Uh, so, but yeah, so we were very famous with that Jody name, you know. <clears throat> dash and dash so uh, we used to feel offended back then but now we are like you know who cares call us all you want to we don't care why were you called kuku i heard your uh... kuku yeah that's my pet name really uh, yeah that's my pet name from 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 the time i know that's my pet name in fact a lot of people in my family my extended family don't even know my real name so they only call me kuku uh, they say deepti they are like who who deepti so they have to be rem- reminded like my real name is deepi it's not kuku so um yeah that's 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 what my parents have put when i was small so everybody in my family call me call me that cool so that that finishes the rapid fire questions you know very smart on you thank thanks for that so now the main agenda what would you do if you become the chief minister what are the areas you would focus on a uh, very very good thing so the first first thing that came into my mind when i read when i heard about this was the movie nayak where you know anil kapoor was anil kapoor and arjun in the old movie yeah they were made wow. a cm yeah. for one day you know obviously one day one minute they're all really very very uh, short time frame and people like are not able to do for years on but since you put this question hypothetically i mm. i think that considering the place that i am in i am i am from hyderabad i am from telangana i am from india so i think one thing that um, our country lacks is having a solid education system and if you see across all the countries that are developed that the one foundation is that they either have a free education system or they have a strong education system but they have a solid base in education unlike in our country where you know education good education is only relegated to private schools but government schools no why not right so when you are having funding for government schools to to run your education system well why are you not why are you not upgrading your school system because i think if every kid is educated that kid grows on to become a responsible individual that ultimately makes a country right so it's it's a people that make a country and if you can empower your your kids if you can empower your adults through strong education i think that would lay a kick ass foundation for any country seriously i think mean, i think that's what that's one of the things we are missing so i would really revamp the education system i would really get someone who is educated to sit on the education system ministry mm-hmm. and make sure he comes up with some nice reforms nice upgrade schemes and sort of revamp the education system and make sure that everybody is educated at least till their till their 10th class and then you're on your own you can do whatever you want to in your in your professional courses but your primary education has to be strong there should be no there should be no uh, uh what do you say compromise on the, on that so that's that's the first thing i would lay a lot of importance on you know having a strong education system yeah does that answer your question yes <laughs> thank you i think you know to the show you know, people have spoken on education and uh, these two have been uh, the most talked about uh, solutions uh, that people will focus on so yeah, yeah thank you that but uh, i thought we would end the show we have a request from uh, dr munali bhai he wants you to sing a malayali song for us sing a malayalam song hmm 
I am so sorry. I don't want to make a fool of myself on Facebook Live. I can talk a little bit in Malayalam, but I can't sing a song. I love singing, and uh, uh, I I would love to have a karaoke version where some music is going on in the background. I don't mind singing there, but not not like this. But I can talk a few lines. Mrinalini, ninga ka Malayalam ariyamo. Ningala ningala madatang endane. എന്നെ കണ്ട ആൾക്കാർ പറയൂല ഞാൻ മലയാളിയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് എല്ലാവരും ചോദിക്കും ഞാൻ നോർത്ത് ഇന്ത്യൻ ആണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ തെലുഗു ആണോ എന്ന് ചോദിക്കും പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ ഞാൻ മലയാളിയാണെന്ന് പറയുമ്പം ആർക്കും വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ സംസാരിക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങുമ്പോൾ അവർക്ക് വിശ്വാസമാവും ഞാൻ തന്നെയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് അപ്പൊ നന്ദി that itself is like a smiling at me <laughs> that itself so, yeah. sounds like a song you know i really like the rhythm in which uh, you know really speak so that itself is a song thank you <laughs> thank you so much ravi you're doing a great job and thanks for having me yeah yeah thanks thanks for taking time out uh, we think uh, all the best uh, with all meet up and you know we definitely want to hear uh, the performance uh, doing karaoke and, uh, more stories really about green green cool <laughs> <laughs> all right so, sure thank you so much ravi yeah you yeah. take care bye thank you bye